Hey guys, welcome back to South Park, The Stick of Truth. This is my final collectible guide. This is all equipment, which is weapons and clothing. Uh, just a heads up here. First, check out my Chin Pokemon video and my friend's video. I have two separate videos for that, and uh, I would love to have done it all in one, but unfortunately, that's just not possible. Uh, the order of this recording is it's going to be the main story quest, followed by the side quest, and then followed by the open world. And I do have a complete list in the description if you're looking for just a single one, and that's in the order of how they appear in your menu. So the first one is where you get the brass key. And this is in the school. So you're going to loot it right off the do dodgeball right there. So make sure you get it off those gingers. The second one is going to be in the school after you beat the hallway monitor boss. Now you can get the locker key from him, and then the locker is going to be just to the left. Uh, another quick point here is make sure you make manual saves, particularly before each of the main story missions when you go to areas that you can't access later. That'll help out. If you do miss one, you can just revert to that save, and then you'll have to finish the game from that point forward. So the next one here, we're going to go into the Giggly Donkey, and this is in the basement after you defeat the elven guys down here. You will automatically get this weapon. It is possible to skip this fight, so make sure you don't. And the next one is not skippable, and it's actually after you defeat the, the magician guy here in the main level in the living room of the Giggly Donkey. And make sure, again, you get these, uh, all of these here now, because after you beat the game, you can't access Jimmy's house anymore. The next one's going to be up in the basement. There's a chin Pokemon above you, but on this guy here is going to be the Wood Elf Gloves. And then the next, uh, there's two here after you defeat Jimmy. Before leaving, make sure you loot Jimmy. Cartman will ask if you want to go back and you want to say not now. So go ahead and loot Jimmy. And then there's going to be another one in the chest over here in the corner. And now we're in the alien spaceship. Again, another area you can't access once you've been here. The first one is going to be in this uh, purple chest here behind Randy. And then the next one is going to be automatically given to you after you defeat these three aliens here. Now, there are reports that some people, uh, collectibles in the spaceship are not where they're located here. So if that's the case, I think it has something to do with the censored version. Uh, just keep looking around. There's an alien suit here in the chest left of the elevator. And then after you defeat the officer that was here, uh, get the alien gloves. And then the next one is going to be, uh, when you kind of go back to, to save Randy, there's a, a ladder down here that you can go down. And once you go down here, you're going to find a hobo. And then after you defeat the hobo, you're going to get the tin foil cap. So make sure you get that. And then there's the chest just to the left uh, of where you went down the elevators, the alien probe. And then there's another one. Um, actually, moving on, I'm sorry, the Taco Bell building, the CIA building here. On the top, there's this yellow chest. So grab that. And then there's going to be the SWAT suit, uh, entire outfit. It's going to be on, on these soldiers down here. In the room behind you, there's a chin Pokemon or the recorder was, but there's three fallen soldiers here that you can get the entire SWAT set from. Again, you want to make sure you get these now because after you beat the game, the Taco Bell will revert back to a mall somehow. So now we're back in the school. This is in the cafeteria near the beginning. In the top right corner is going to be a fallen uh, buddy over here. He's going to have the basketball on him. Now, if you go to the other end over here, you're going to run into these guys. And after you defeat these guys, make sure you loot their body because there's a, uh, one of the Necromancer set in here. And it's really easy to kind of miss that just because the, with all the stuff there, you can um, not see the body. So down here, you're going to actually get this one automatically, I believe. You're going to defeat this uh, ginger, uh, the Nazi gingers here. And then you're going to get the uh, 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 item there. And then this is a little further on by the boiler room there. After you defeat these gingers that were just outside of there, there's another piece of the Necromancer set. Now this is up on the second floor. You're going to the first fight here. Loot their bodies and you'll get another piece of the Necromancer set. 
this is the underpants gnome section. Uh, you're gonna defeat four of them outside before you go in through the hole. Make sure you loot their bodies. And then once you're inside of there, this is right at the beginning, climb up this wire and uh, check out this yellow pouch over here. And then there's a few more here in the underpants gnome section. There's actually two pieces you get there. This is after watching your parents the first time. Climb up that wire and then break through and uh, watch out for those fuses. And then this yellow pouch is the uh, gnome clothes. And then this is after the three rats. There's nothing on the rats themselves, but before climbing up that wire, check this pouch right here and you're gonna get a uh, gnome pickaxe. And this is at, at the end of the section, you're gonna defeat these three guys. And on one of them, I think it's gonna be the last one here. You can get the, uh, under the helmet here. And this is Unplanned Parenthood. And the first, uh, there's a grenade here so go ahead and pick that up, and then you're gonna get the three-piece surgical set off, off this little cart here, and this is part of the story, you have to get this. But just a quick note here of the little patches and things like that, those don't count towards this. It's only the equipment and the clothing that's gonna count. A little further on here, you're gonna be in the records room, and then you're gonna have to make yourself small using the gnome dust, and then you're gonna climb in here, and you're gonna have the rats. And just a little further up, you're gonna see this little yellow pouch and in here is going to be our next one, the Master Razor. I believe I used that quite a long time. I like that gun. Now we're back in Canada, or up in Canada rather, and this is in Banff where the Bishop was. Uh, if you destroy that pot, you're gonna hit that uh, switch over there that'll open the door to the chest over here. Now the Bishop himself has a weapon on him, but you don't wanna kill him, so you gotta spare his life, you can get that weapon later. And then in Vancouver, there's a little hidden wall you can break through in the top left corner. And then we're gonna go and move on to, uh, there's actually two items there. This is in the cave where you uh, save the, the prince here. Make sure you fart on him. There's a, a trophy for farting on him and three other guys. So there's the barbarian armor in the top left corner in the chest. And then in Clyde's Fortress, there's going to be, when you first enter it on the first level here, there's gonna be some guys shooting rockets above you, but there's a yellow chest. You get the lawn dart there. And then you're gonna to have to go up and defeat the two guys above and they have a, a piece of, of clothing for you as well. Night uh, gauntlets there. And this is at the top here where you see Ike. In the right building, there's a guy, and then there's a yellow chest. Make sure you loot the chest and not the guy. It's easy to loot the, just the kid there and forget the chest behind it, so make sure you get that. And then after you defeat Clyde and his clones, there's a chest in the upper left over here. And make sure you make save points before entering these major areas. This, you can't come back here either. And this is inside Mr. Slave, right near uh, where you get Big Gay L. If you defeat this little bacteria right here, you're gonna get the, um, what is it, the vibroblade, which is a great weapon, by the way, and a patch. And again, the patches don't count towards this at all. And this is after you've turned on the flashlight. And just make your way around here and you see that yellow chest. So make sure you go ahead and grab that. And then the last one is going to be um, something that's automatically given to you is the crown. So that's going to uh, complete the story stuff. If you got every single one up to here, you're not going to be locked out of anything. And this is the Mongolian beef side quest. I'm going to show you all the ones related to side quests. You get this at Mr. Kim at the City Walk. And on the second floor here, defeat these guys and you'll get the bow. Then you're going to do Kevin Stoli's Vulcan Around side quest. And once you complete that, you will get something as well. Which I cut it out here. And then you want to do a Skeeter side quest, Rats in the Cellar. You're just going to go down to the basement here and uh, clear a few sets of rats, and then you'll get some friends as well as the bar darts. Now the big game hunting with Jimbo, and if you go up to Canada, you're going to have the Barkin Spider here. And after you defeat the Barkin Spider, make sure you loot him. Because you do get uh, the uh, some equipment there, the Barbarian Gloves. 
And then after you've completed the big game hunting with Jimbo Quest, you'll get this key, and then you come up to this chest, which there's actually two items there I've already previously looted them. And then uh, during the unfriend Al Gore, once you defeat Al Gore, you'll go in his little locked secret room here, and you can get the Man Bear Pig Club. And then at some point, you can defeat Man Bear Pig himself. He's going to be near the church. And once you've defeated him, you're going to... Um, pick up the weapon off of him so make sure you do that and that's it for anything that's related to side quests and uh, as far as equipment goes we're just going to now do cleanup and I'm gonna start in the bottom right of the map where Kenny lives and you'll find a piece of equipment up here in his attic of the garage so get the club there and then there's going to be another item that's the quest item and then there's another item down here in this yellow chest. Now you may have already gotten many of these uh, along the way, so um, which most likely you did, or hopefully you did. Now we're gonna go to Kyle's backyard, and this is where you uh, you're gonna go to the shop. You have to buy everything off of every shop, and you need to buy just the equipment and the uh, the clothing. That's it. Just weapon and clothing. Don't buy any patches or anything else. You're also going to need to sell almost everything you have. So just do it. If you've already completed the game, just sell everything. So you're going to buy all the weapons here. And there's uh, 16 total items you're going to get here. So buy the weapons and equipment. That's all you need to buy here. Again, you're going to have to sell pretty much everything on you. And then once you've done that, go next door to Stan's garage. Shoot the ladder down and up in the attic of his garage is going to be a chest where you can find some equipment as well. The druid robes. And this is in Cartman's backyard. Now there's 21 items you need to buy uh, off the shop here. So again, just weapons and just equipment. So make sure you sell all your junk and all your patches or anything else because you're going to need a lot of money to do this. So we're going to go next door here. This is in Butter's garage. You're going to probably have to get the key from inside, but you get some gloves there. And then this is Jimmy's garage. This is not locked out to you. His actual house is after you beat the game, but his garage will not be. And then you can get the Jester's cap, which I'm going to equip because I, I like that. That's my favorite piece of clothing in the game. So left of Jimmy's house is a little hole. If you use your gnome dust, you can go in here and you can find another chest. And in this side uh, chest, you get the witch gloves, as well as the bedroom key for the stolies. And then uh, you're gonna go to Pete uh, Melman's house. And this is a couple doors down on the left. Go up in the attic and you made friends with Pete here, hopefully. Make sure you check out my friend's guide if you need to know where all 120 of them are. And then you're going to go into the community center, talk to Mr. Mackey, and then you're going to have to buy items off of him. He has both weapons, too. And then you're going to have to also buy the equipment, and he has three on him there. And it looks like I'm going to have to sell some stuff here. So moving on, this is just left of the school. You're going to need your gnome dust, and you're going to go inside this little log. This is probably the most well-hidden collectible in the entire game. But when you go in here, you can get the witch robes, as well as a patch. Again, patches don't count. So this is the second floor of the police station, the evidence room. You're gonna move the ladder over to the right here, climb up, and you can get the uh, the bling, level one. At this point, I'm level 15, so not really worth it to me. On top of Tom's rhinoplasty, you're gonna have to use the alien probe to get up to the top of the bank, and then use the alien probe once again to get to the top of Tom's rhinoplasty. So that's it. So make sure you guys, uh, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button. That'd be cool. I appreciate it. And this is the girls' hideout. There's 16 items here. Three of them are found in the chest. You get the Valkyrie equipment here. So go ahead and take all of that. And then you're, there's also a shop here. And there's going to be 13 items in the shop. And the shop is just on the opposite side over here. Talk to her, and again, just weapons and just equipment. And then you have to go to the bum here outside of uh, the you used store. Price. Talk to this hobo. You know, you've already got the goth equipment here, so there's just three more pieces of clothing left for you. 
And then you're gonna go to above Butter's secret lair. You get Butter's secret lair key from Butter's bedroom. And then go to the his uh, store locker, which I believe is locker number 223. And then you're gonna go up to the roof. And then you're gonna use your alien probe to zap yourself over here. And this is a pretty well hidden. A lot of people don't know how to get up here. So just go in through the secret lair and you can get up here. And Tweak Brothers Coffee, there's one underneath the bench here. There's also a Chin Pokemon, which I've already previously collected, as you can see. So go ahead and loot that. You got the witch hat now. And then inside Tweak Brothers itself, now you may have gotten this earlier, once you become friends with Tweak in here and complete his quest, you'll get a key, and that key is to this yellow chest here, and you get the friar gloves and robes there. So moving on, this is Token's house. There's uh, one in the garage here in the little attic of the garage and there's also an alien probe thing if you can see it if you use that you can get on top of the house and this is a pretty well hidden clever one as well if you break open the chimney it'll reveal a chest and inside that chest is the squire armor now we're back at jimbo's here you need to buy everything off of his little shop you, again just the uh, weapons here it doesn't have any equipment they're pricey, $75.50. So go ahead and buy that. And again, you have the, and I showed you this earlier, but once you completed Jimbo's quest, you can get up here with his key and you get an ax and a grenade. So now, we're, uh, now I'm heading to the sewers. So we go to the lower section of the sewers. This is where you, you save the second of Mr. Hankey's kids. And after you defeat these hobos, you're going to loot them and you're going to find something on them. There it is, the broken bottle. Now a little further in the sewers here, there's going to be a yellow chest at the kind of the main intersection area. You're gonna turn this little valve. And you'll see that little thing there is the rot of waste. And then you're gonna to wanna to make it all the way through to the end of the sewers into the cave where the crab person is at. Use your Nagasaki uh, fart ability which you get later in the game. So this is why you do a lot of this cleanup stuff after you've uh, completed the game. Break that open. There's going to be a Chin Pokemon for you, the Beaversaurus, the Crab Person. Make sure you make friends with him. And then open up the chest to the left of the Crab Person. You have uh, his entire set, all three pieces of the uh, Crab Person. So I'm going back to Canada. Now there's a lot of shops in Canada, so we're going to start in Ottawa here. There's two items in the shop. Some of this stuff is pretty pricey. So again, manage your inventory, sell everything. You can sell everything that's not equipped to you. So go ahead and do that. Go to Winnipeg and there's going to be just one item in the store. And then we're going to go to Banff, or however you pronounce it. And there's five items here. There's also the bishop's weapon. If you didn't kill him, which you shouldn't kill him. If you did kill him, you'll have to loot it off his body. But if you didn't kill him, it'll be in this shop. And there's weapons and equipment here, so make sure you get both of those. And now we're in Vancouver, and this is the last one, guys. There's one item in the shop. That'll be our 153rd uh, equipment here. So I want to thank you all for watching. It, it means a lot to me if you made it this far. So make sure you hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't. So that's it, guys. Um, PS4 Trophies is the number one channel for South Park videos. So make sure you check out my channel, and i got plenty of stuff there for you. Thanks for watching.